Wembley. Rain swept, but anything except damping to the England team, who went on a goal-hungry, goal-scoring rampage right through their French opposition in the friendly international. This crazy goal mouth scramble could have brought number one. It didn't, but it was early days yet. The French forwards opened up a few raiding attempts, but they lacked punch and promise. England, however, always look menacing, but let some of their raids fizzle out. The French onslaughts were rare, easily dealt with, and immediately answered with quick and promising replies by the England squad. The home team were really turning the screw, time and again cutting through the French defence, but failing when it mattered most. But the promise of an England goal wasn't without substance. First, Fred O'Grady, who scored with a beautiful volley. O'Grady well deserved his congratulations. So, at half-time, England were one up. When the French resumed play, there was indication that it might become a more evenly matched game. That hope soon petered out. England's defence was rock-steady, and our forwards mighty dangerous. It was a flagrant foul by Bosquier on Peters, which won England a penalty. Hurst blasted the ball into the net. England had a two-goal lead and they were only just beginning. Hurst added another. Hurst was in great form. So was Lee. He scored an exhibition goal to put England four up. This was the England everyone had waited to see. The French try, but Banks put an end to it and sent the ball back where he belonged. With seven minutes to go, Rostani fouled Bell. The ref had no doubt about the decision. It was another penalty. Hurst again with the kick. A hat-trick for Hurst. Five goals for England. Naturally enough, there was dejection amongst the French team. For the Ramsey men and their fans, there were no complaints. 